Well, hey everybody, this is Rock and Spirit coming to you live from a recording. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. It just sounds so radio, Rock and Spirit coming to you live. So I go with it. You know, it humors me, okay? I hope it humors you. But anyway, I'm just real. I'm just telling it like it is. I have a funny sense of humor. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you, it is a beautiful Tuesday morning with the sun peeking through the clouds, warming up, everything's green and beautiful. And I'll tell you, we've had a deluge for a few days and lots of flooding, lots of gray skies, torrential rains. And I'll tell you, I don't know if you guys struggle with this, but it doesn't work so well with me because I am a fair weather friend. Sunshine, the sun, brings me happiness it gives me you know a renewal it gives it helps me to have ambition and drive and I strive for things and I feel hopeful and joyful with the Sun and I'll tell you when the dark clouds are looming it is very unmotivating and it is a struggle and a challenge to enter into life with that darkness and you know, it causes me to relate that very nicely to what it's like living life without the Lord Jesus, the perfect son. And when we are apart from him, saved or unsaved, life is not as joyful and productive and exciting and happy. And when you have that relationship with the sun and he's the light of your life it's it's a renewal it's invigorating it propels you and gives you the motivation to enter into life and to be excited about it and I'll tell you when people are carrying heavy burdens in their life whether they're saved or unsaved. When you have a relationship with the Lord Jesus, it carries you through and it pushes you forward into victory when you lean on God's word. And when you're in that place where you're just being carried by the Lord, that you are so drained and tired and discouraged that you can hardly be motivated to do anything. You can rest in his arms and you can lean on the brethren. You know, it says that we are to go to the brethren and confess our sins one to another. And it also says that the brethren are to help a brother in need. And sometimes that's just with the giving of advice. That's being there to be an ear and to hear them and just to comfort them and love them. Wash them with the word of God. Give them hope and encourage them. But there is a word of caution with that. And even with the most well-intended, beloved brethren that you have, they are not above becoming emotional because of their relationship with you or experiences that they can relate to your situation from their past and maybe how they walked it out, perhaps with the Lord or perhaps in the flesh. And so you have to take the advice of the brethren by filtering it through the Word of God. If their advice or encouragement does not line up with the Word of God, then you need to exercise caution receiving that advice and putting that advice into action in your life because it could be a very, very damaging outcome if it's not filtered through the Word of God and not something that God would would um, support you doing so love the love the brother that you can go to and will be there for you but always go to Jesus for the final say so ask the Lord what you should do in your situation and then wait and rest for his answer and seek peace through his love and his tenderness and loving presence. Praise Him. Pray to Him. And then just be patient and be 
you silent and let him speak to you so that you do not rashly approach your choices and decisions when you're weak because we can make mistakes during those times if we're not careful. It's better to sit in the situation without making a movement than to make a wrong move that brings great, great repercussions. And, um, but I'll tell you what, the sun illuminates, the sun renews and refreshes, the sun provides warmth and care and growth and nurturing. Not just the sunshine that strengthens our immune system and gives us ambition for the day, but the Son, Jesus Christ, does all of that and so much more. He is our healer. He is our counselor. He is our ever-present friend in a time of need. He is the one who is with us for all time will never leave us or forsake us. So take courage with that. Let that be a comfort to you. And God bless and make it a great day with the sun.